when you spend your dollar out of the community in which you live, the community uh, in which you spend your money becomes richer and richer. The community out of which you take your money becomes poorer and poorer. So our people not only have to be uh, re-educated to the importance of supporting black business, but the black man himself has to be uh, made aware of the importance of going into business. Welcome to the Black Business Podcast, where we support and spread the word on Black-owned business inside and outside our community. Now here are your hosts, Marcus Stewart and John Pleasant. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Black Business Podcast. Uh, this is John. I'm with my co-host, Marcus. Marcus, what's going on? Hey, man. Same old stuff. What's S- happening with you? Same old, different day. You know how you know, I say it's from my uncles back in the day. You know? <laughs> Everybody's. Everybody. Uncle. Everybody's. <laughs> Same thing. My grandpa used to ask me every time I seen him, what you know? Right. I say, I don't, I don't know. He said, you don't know nothing? <laughs> I don't. Another day, another dollar. Uh, yeah. We funny, man. So where we go this week? Harold's Chicken. Harold's Chicken, a Harold's location Chicken. in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. And so it's yeah. a Chicago staple, right? It is. And, right. and actually, they have a lot of locations now. So wherever you are, you may have ha- heard of Harold's Chicken. Oh, okay. Because I oh. went to college in, oh, by the way, Clark Atlanta. And um, we had a Harold's on our campus from like 2003 to 2006, somewhere in there. Right on campus. Right on campus, like, man. They, these drunk black people eating this chicken. Yeah, late at night, they knew where to get us. They knew where to get us. <laughs> so that's how I found out about Harold's. I'm, I'm from, of course, from St. Louis. But um, yeah, Harold's, Chicago. I never went to the one in Chicago first. Went to the one in Atlanta, and then they opened up one here about what you'd say about five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. So, so I've only been to the Heroes here in Los Angeles. It is at six five two three Hollywood Boulevard, hmm? Los Angeles, California nine zero zero two eight. Website Harold's Chicken L A dot com. Yeah, that's it. So oh, yeah, open every day. Every day. That's 11 important. Eleven a.m. to ten p.m. Ten p.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can tell with the vibe of this location that at that toward 10 p.m. the vibe changed completely. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, we definitely. We noticed <laughs> that. They look like they they pull a DJ into that place. I know. It's on a little platform over there. I was like, oh yeah, that's where he be. That's where the DJ be. And those were definitely uh, club booth seats <laughs> over against the wall, right? Right. You know the vel- velvet high tops. That's yes. what I like to yes. call them. You know. That's yeah. When, that's when you pop in bottles. You sit over there at those seats right there. So. Oh. They had a, a private room in the back by the bathrooms. Oh, right before did. you get to the bathroom, was a private room back there. Close the door. Had a TV. Look at I'm that. Assuming they hit you with bottle service, as they Club have the Harold's. full bar. Yeah, it's set up like a, a sports bar because they got yeah. a ton of TVs on the walls. True. Right. Yeah, it was nice. It was a nice uh, vibe. I wasn't used to. I wasn't expecting for a chicken joint that I'm. You know, the one I went to in Atlanta. And then to come out here and see how it looked. It really is, for Hollywood Boulevard, I guess they had to kind of up it a little bit okay. with, with the look. It was clean. It now, was, the, the one in Atlanta, was it a full restaurant too? No, it was a, a shack. Oh. You go there, you place your order, you know, you stand outside and they call your name. And okay. You, or your order number. Now, that's what I hear most of them are actually like. Yeah, that's what I'm used to. It's just a pick so. up and go kind of place. And yeah, they have locations if you if you know if you're listening from around the country, Carbondale, Illinois, Springfield, Illinois, uh, Indiana, well Indianapolis specifically, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, of course Atlanta, Vegas, uh, St. Louis, my hometown. Didn't even know that. Oh. Houston, Texas, and then Los Angeles. So. Oh. Yeah. So they, you realize they was everywhere. They everywhere, man. They spreading out. They They've been out there. It's 73 years. They, they were founded in 1950 oh, okay. from Harold Pierce. Harold Pierce. How's Harold doing? I, hope, I don't know. I think, I think when I first went to Harold's five years ago, yeah. you know, when it first opened up, I think it's the daughter who brought it out here to Los Angeles. And I see a Kristen Pierce listed as the owner. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Harold, um, yeah, if he's, he's around, he's probably up there in age. In 1950, he opened it. Uh, but, yeah. So, she's spreading the chicken across the country. She's spreading the chicken. She's okay. the new chicken pimp. All right. Yeah, she's doing a hell of a job. I ain't mad at it. Because this was some good chicken. It was. It, it is was. good. It was cooked perfectly, and it's cooked to order. So you're not sitting eating old chicken. So it's yep. gonna take you know 15, 20 minutes to get your order. I appreciate that. Like a hot light for your chicken. Oh my goodness! So, uh, so uh, 
Yeah, fresh fresh chicken, which is important. You don't have to, you know, when you go to traditional commercial chicken joints, you kind of you see your chicken already just sitting there, right, you know, waiting right. to be bagged, and you know, it's, it's it's not the same thing. So I appreciate the freshness. Now, it took us what twenty minutes to get our food, and we were the only ones in there. There were yeah. people coming in getting to go orders. Yeah. But we were only ones sitting down and still took 20. So I imagine when it gets right packed in there, it takes a bit. For sure. And we were the only ones sitting because we went early. Uh, yes. It's not because it wasn't good or it's because they have any type of negative connotation. We just decided to go early. Right. We went for lunch on a, on a Wednesday afternoon. So yeah. We, you know? yeah. Of course. On a Friday, Saturday night, I'm sure it's... A whole different story. But we just wanted to go to eat. Right. You know? We didn't need... Club Harold's. Uh, we didn't need the crack. <laughs> yeah, which I respect. You know, nothing against hey, it. You know, if it works, it works. It works exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, if you're if you're familiar with Harold's or if you're not, they're known for their sauce. So that's what sets them apart from any other fried chicken restaurant. You know, the chicken itself, standalone, is good. Of course, seasoned really well. Um, but the sauce that they put on the chicken, you can ask for it on the side or directly on it, and your fries or whatever else you get, it sets it off, man. Yeah, it really yeah. does. That's what I heard. Um, I was made to do the mild sauce. That's that's what I told I needed to go to. So I haven't even tried the hot sauce or anything yet. Uh, no, I just stick so. with the mild myself. I'm a, I'm a little punk when it comes to hot spices. <laughs> yeah, okay. Understandably, but yeah, yeah, kids no more. <laughs> right, we ain't kids no more. But it was good. Oh. What else did they uh, have on the menu? Oh, Let's they see. had a lot on the menu, right? They yeah. Had not just chicken wings, chicken strips, fish, shrimp. I had a chicken sandwich, so yeah. it was um, cooked very good. The chicken yeah. sandwich looked really good. It did look good, and it was it was cooked very well. Like yeah. on a brioche bun. And... I probably should have put some more mild sauce on it, though. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. But they have a uh, they got a regular piece of chicken, thighs, wings, breasts. Um, Right, they have uh, yeah. Cat, the catfish the is you know was what I got with my chicken. It was like a combo of chicken fish plate, um, and I got a side of greens and mac and cheese. Man, those greens that was the smallest two ounce <laughs> container of greens as a side I've ever seen in my life. But she did ask me. She said, "Do you want the normal side or the up up, you know, the larger size of uh, greens?" But I didn't expect that. You you see it on the menu that it says two ounces, but you don't think in your head what two ounces really yeah. is. Yeah, so, I, I didn't think about a, that. But two ounces little, is very little. To go ramekin. That's yeah. what it was. Because they used all paper plates and plastic forks and stuff, except for the, the cups for our drinks, right? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cups so, or glasses. I imagine this is it gets busy at night and they just like, let's just get this out of here. Right, right. Yeah. So, but I will say. I didn't think about it, but I tried the mac and cheese. I was skeptical at first. I was like, mm, let me give it a go. You know how we are with this mac and cheese? You know how we are. That's why we do this podcast. Mm-hmm. They discovered a mac and cheese. And they actually had really good mac and cheese. It was good mac and cheese. I was shocked. I was like, Harold, what? Or how did you know to do the chicken good and the mac and cheese? Because that's what they're supposed to do. I know. Everybody else we keep messing with. I don't know what they doing. Yeah, I know. I, I don't expect it. I didn't even expect it. I think that was even better. It's like, I didn't come here like, they better have good mac and cheese. But they did. You looked at it and you said, hey, this is this is baked mac and cheese. Like, yeah. this is supposed to be. Yeah, What's going on? Stringy. I pulled up the fork and the stringy cheese. Just, yeah. Yeah, that's how I knew. Caught you off guard. Caught me off guard, and I went for it, and it was it was delicious. It was damn delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but they did uh, they did have a a, a pet peeve for me though, you know. What was that? You, this salt and pepper oh, on the table. Oh yes. You they, know I can't stand when they put salt and pepper on the table. Yeah, because it means they. They send gotta, me my food the way it's supposed to taste. I shouldn't have to add extra seasoning. Though. Yes. Right. What if Season they had Lowry's the on the bag? Table? What if they had like Lowry's and stuff? Oh, if they put Lowry's on there, I would have walked out. <laughs> I'd be like, what is this? Like, you didn't put no seasoning on this. None. Come Man. on. Season in the bag. Bring it it's out true. to me. I don't want to cook. That's why I came here. That's for the people that just like always, can we get extra salt? Let me get extra salt. And yes. just put it on the table. And, and if they put it on the table, that means people keep asking. Yeah. And they want to save time. So that bothered me. But when we ate the food, who needs this extra salt? That's what I'm saying. So I don't, I don't know. 
I don't know. I think that's the government that's putting that salt on there, just trying to raise black people's blood, blood pressure. pressure. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's the I'm government. Like, you didn't, you didn't lost your taste buds. Yeah, now you didn't just pouring salt on your tongue. Yeah, that's 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 disrespectful because the place didn't need it. Harold's is perfectly seasoned. You know, like I said, you can get the hot. It's a little probably extra salty for the hot sauce. Uh, but it was perfectly seasoned. Uh, good sides. It was a great vibe. The music was playing. You know, the the, the waitress was great. Um, yeah. They had a full bar in there, of course, because they're at night. They're probably open, you know, more so for that. And it's on Hollywood Boulevard. So if you're in L.A., you're just walking down the strip, you hit this place. So you, it's even better if you're on foot because it's, you know, in an area where parking is, of course, definitely not the best. Uh, parking is horrible. It's Hollywood. Yeah, so time. I paid a meter. I did, you know. Yeah. Hot, a meter on Hollywood Boulevard is $2 an hour. Yeah, so. Until you know. 6 p.m. when it becomes 4. Yep. So you want to get out, you know. <laughs> Be done by six, you know. I recommend that, but uh, yeah, overall, man, this was uh, definitely you know, uh, pleasing aesthetically, look wise. Um, they you had know. an eight foot chicken in there, an eight foot chicken, yeah. I wonder if people take photos in front of that. That's a photo op right there, yeah. We didn't do it, yeah. They know what they're doing, yeah. It's Hollywood, yeah, yeah. Hollywood. Taking pictures, well, they had two bathrooms. Um, it says you know, men, women, but there's a lock on the door, and it's a one person stall, so. We know, obviously, you in and out wherever you want to. Clearly, um, like I said earlier, they and before that they had the little private room that I assume you can go back there and get bottle service at night. You yeah, know, got your own TV, shut the doors. That's what's hey, it's a know? vibe, man. Hey, it's, that's what they doing. Yeah, you know? and if you go to their IG, Harold's Chicken LA, they clearly have a location in Culver City as well. And oh, yeah. So I didn't even. Know I didn't that. even know. Yeah, same. They, they all over the place. You could have went there, man. It's just spreading that chicken everywhere. They opening up the chicken. This is like Undercover Brother when they ate the chicken, man. They turned the president into a chicken fiend. They was opening up chicken restaurants all across the country. They didn't even know it was coming. That's this. Oh, okay. That's well, it. All yeah. over the place. And they have brunch on Sundays with chicken and waffles. And from 12 to 6, that looks... Ooh. I don't I even know if that's that. every Sunday. I'm not going to lie. I see well, it. It might just be on the menu, to be honest with you. It might I remember be. seeing waffle on the menu where you could just buy a waffle. I just didn't do it yeah. that day. I've yeah. had chicken wings. I've had the uh, shrimp, um, multiple size, mac and cheese, fries, greens, yams. And then I just wanted to get the sandwich this time just to yeah. do no. something different. No, that looked worth it. That yeah. did look worth it. Yeah, yeah. yeah How maybe. was the fish you said? Fish was good. I think some of the pieces could have been a little larger. I think probably if you order, because you can get a side of fish at seven dollars, and I'm certain that they probably give you the biggest piece when you pay for that. But since this came as like a combo pack of chicken and fish, you know, the fish was probably like half size. It was three pieces, I think, um, or two pieces of fish, three pieces of chicken. Uh, but it was really good. Uh, you know, I will say that that um, I didn't have a problem with the size too much because it was enough food. Mm-hmm. Overall, um, prices were good too. Yeah, prices was good, especially for being on Hollywood Boulevard. You oh know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember um, actually. If you you can order in, or you can order to go, and mm-hmm. um, they're also on uh, the apps DoorDash to Postmates, I believe. Oh nice. Uh, and on Postmates, I think they had a two for one special for a, going for a while. You could get uh, oh. a side of the wings and two sides, oh. two for one. Mm. So he was getting. You know, let me cue that up. A let bunch me... of food for fifteen bucks. Uh, sure, they, they were they were they were doing it right. They got some mac yeah. and cheese bites. Oh, I bet those oh. are fire. Yes, mac and cheese bites. Oh. It was a it was it was a pretty good menu, man. Yeah, they fried had, okra. They had good, yeah, yeah. good appetizers that looked right. And so, yeah, what you get at the sweet tea going? <laughs> Yeah, I will say, and it's something that you all should know about me, is I, I love sweet tea. I love, just as much as Marcus has a problem with the salt and pepper on the counter, I have to have, <laughs> especially if I'm going to a soul food spot, I got to have some good sweet tea. And this place, I asked her about it. She said they made it in-house, but it, they definitely uh, adopted their own version of sweet tea. And I didn't like it as much because it, I, it just needs to be brewed tea and cane sugar. Yeah. I don't need anything else. And, and they definitely just, you know, put a little, maybe a little fruit taste in there but uh, the flavor the sweetness was good but uh, just the the aftertaste of that something else that you decided to add to my sweet tea i didn't like so it did look a little light skin yeah yeah it was a little light skin a little, little reddish tint yeah right? so uh-huh. um, but um but yeah because so overall you know it was good uh, aesthetically pleasing um you know outside you're on hollywood so of course probably curb appeal won't be the greatest 
No, it's it's gonna be a few, you know, of the um, people hanging yeah. out, yeah, smoking, drinking, coming in, all asking that kind of for, stuff for water every now and then. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's just it's Hollywood. That's Hollywood. It's Hollywood, man. Yeah. So yeah. So if you are in the Los Angeles area, or you happen to be. You know, downtown or, um, you know, near Hollywood, definitely stop by Harold's two locations. We mentioned one on Culver City and the other on Hollywood Boulevard. So worth it. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. Uh, how do you pay? You pay, you use car. I don't know if I saw anybody using cash. Yeah, since we didn't pay at a counter or anything, I don't even, I can't recall seeing that. But they bring uh, the car reader right over to the table. Yep. So that's good. That's It was that's efficient. How. You know, that's a lot of how uh, they do it in, in Europe. And when Europeans yeah. come over here, they were always, they always they speak about they're bothered how, how the waiter would take their car and then disappear into the back oh, they to like charge that. them. No. It's like, <laughs> where are you taking my car? Just bring the reader over here so I can see what's going on. I don't know what you're doing with my car back wow. there. That's how that started probably. Yeah. So I'm seeing a lot of uh, places, you know, adapt to the handheld yeah. mobile readers now. Oh. Yeah. Being a lot better for us. So well, Hey. You ain't back there writing down my card number. Right, exactly. You know, trying to use it later. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen <laughs> it happen to people. Yeah, you take a car. I was in a uh, Jack in a Box, and this dude was up there complaining because he came and got some food, uh-huh. and the drive-through guy wrote down his card number and started putting stuff on his car while he was at work. Started getting alerts. Whoa, while he yeah. was at work. While he was at work, he's like, "I'm not buying nothing. I'm at work." So. He had to come back to the Jack in the Box. It was a whole thing going on. It was crazy. Wow, that's yeah. bold. That's why you got it. Yeah. That's why people were like, "Hey, bring that car reader over here." You know what? Yeah. I will never let them take my card again. <laughs> he can't trust anybody, you can't man. Do it. Right? You can't. That's wild. It's crazy. That is wild it's and unfortunate. Crazy. Oh my yeah. goodness. Now Harold's they bring the car reader over. They bring it's the all car good. reader. Yep. And I'm sure that's the whole thing about when it gets really busy at night. You know, so they can just sure. go table to table instead of having to walk off and come back and walk off and come back. Yeah. I'm sure it gets too much. And I know bartenders do it all the time because it's the whole you want to keep the tab open thing. But yeah. I guess, yeah. you know, it's like, no, I'm going to close this tab out and get my card back and I'm going to buy another one and you're going to do this whole process over and over again. Well, but Harold's was pretty good this one, man. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a good spot. Um, good. The service was great. Yep. Uh, the people are good. Yeah. Uh, clean. Fresh food. Yeah, it was clean. It was clean, which is, I'm sure, hard to do on Hollywood Boulevard. For sure. You get stuff right. Yep. Especially when you're thinking about a chicken shack. I don't. I would never expect the, the chicken joint to be clean, but it was yeah, yeah. definitely a very professional business yeah. and experience. So, Probably yeah. it turns into a club at night. Yep. I know black it. people do that. And we do that. You know, it's like, no, I always had a dream of opening a nightclub, but I like food, too. Let's merge them. I can't get, I can't get a nightclub license, but I can get yeah. a... A right. food and serve drinks license. under the restaurant, yeah. <laughs> but then I just still happen to have the drinks for the nightclub too. Uh, oh, we gotta do is push these tables to the side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we love we love to push them tables to the side, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's they thing. They love it. We'll turn anything into a. Uh, oh, put some tables out. This is a gym. Yeah, put the tables on the gym floor. Stop playing basketball. Let's put the tables out, and we gonna have a reception right, right. here. On the court. Resourceful we are. We are resourceful. Huh? This is a happy. multi-use space. Yes. Every space is a multi-use space. Every space is a multi-use space. Yeah. You're gonna rent it out for something else. I respect <laughs> that. I love us about I love that about us, man. We we get it done. Oh, okay, man. What else we got about Harold's? <laughs> what else about you got anything else about Harold's? I think, yeah. I mean that was good from, you know, um first impressions to, you know, my senses. I love everything. There's nothing that turned me off from the place. Um like I said, it was it was good. They got gizzards and liver. We forgot to mention all that. Oh, the perch. Man, I forgot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I gotta try them gizzards. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get that. I ain't had that in a while. Yeah. So yeah, an example of a plate with the cost of course, it's like sixteen to you know, sixteen bucks I guess on average for like a uh, a wing and a and a side or two, or you can get like the chicken sandwich, which was like a little like twelve maybe. Um, I think the chicken and fries, the chicken sandwich and fries was only ten. Oh man! Yeah, That's I was great. I was like, "That's great." Oh, with the fries? 
Yeah, right? Yeah. Not a la carte? What? Man. It's like, okay. Go to one of these other places. They chicken sandwiches are 13, 14 yeah. for the sandwich, and that's yeah. it. Yep. You know, so. places, yeah, that a la carte, they try to get you. Like, you think you're getting a combo for, you know, it's a chicken sandwich. Oh, it's fourteen ninety nine. That sounds great. Mm-hmm. Would you like some fries? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's four ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, so this became a $20 meal. Like we were saying, the prices are pretty good over at Harold's, man. Yeah, keep that going, Harold's. Keep that going. Yes, even after, you know, the the interest rate hikes that everybody uses as an excuse right. to jack up their prices. Exactly. Because Harold's didn't. So how can Harold's? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Man. And chickens were scarce for a minute. Yeah. You could get two wings at a place. Yeah. <laughs> everybody was going crazy with these chicken prices. I'm telling you. How is Harold still keeping their stuff cr- I love that's- it. I love it. They played us. They played us, man. He's like, oh, ain't no chickens. Ain't I no got to charge you 15 for this wing. Yep. Harold's is uh, like, we got plenty of wings. Yeah, You're going to get six about? for 15. What right. are you talking about? Whole wings, not drumettes. Yeah, exactly. $7 for uh, six <laughs> drumettes. Crazy. It's crazy. That's, but hey. You just made me now mad now, at everybody. <laughs> we do it right. Harold's, thank Harold's. you. Thank you, Harold's. We yeah. respect you for that. Yeah. Keeping those prices where they need to be. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yes. So, well, man, if you don't have anything else, hey, I think that's a, that's a wrap on that, huh? That's it, man. Hey, Harold's well, Chicken. Harold's Chicken. Well, thank you all again for tuning in to the Black Business Podcast. This has been John with my co-host Marcus. Until next time. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening to the Black Business Podcast. You can follow us on Twitter at BLKBIZ Podcast. Email us at the Black Business Podcast at gmail.com. And if you would like to support us, you can become a Patreon member at patreon.com slash the Black Business Podcast. Not only will you be helping us to patronize more black owned business, you will get access to exclusive pictures and video, as well as entry into merchandise and other special giveaways. Be sure to follow and subscribe. New episodes every Thursday. Thanks for listening.